Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what you saw a few seconds earlier was um, Houdini actually driving a bunch of servos um, and a, a robotic claw. Now, how was this actually achieved? Was uh, it's actually quite straightforward. What we have here is a digital asset. So this digital asset actually represents the components that I've got in real life. You know, simple components for um, the servos and the claw. And uh, I've also got some control parameters here that allow me to you know rotate and uh, you know control the virtual claw on screen. Now um, this is all good and fine, but how do we actually use it to control the servos um, through the Arduino? Now what what we ha what I have here. If I go to my type properties in my scripts, right, I'm actually using Python to uh, establish a communication line between um, the PC and the Arduino. So basically, here just establishes you know a serial com over the USB port. Now, once that's done, right, um, there's a callback function that runs every time that um, parameters are updated here. So whenever you know a parameter is updated, this callback function will be run. And uh, what all this callback function done da, da, sorry, is um, to send control character, um, the servo number, as well as um, some remapped values over to the Arduino. And the Arduino will just handle, you know, get the values and uh, engage the servo to its proper position and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward project. We got a digital asset that uses Python to connect over serial to the Arduino. And uh, yep, that will and the Arduino basically gets the values from you know Houdini over Python through the serial line and uh, updates you know the servos and stuff to give us a cool robotic toy arm thing, All right? Hello everyone. Now after talking about how to send you know data to the Arduino through Python with Houdini, um, I'm just going to show you a bit more about the claw. Now this is a claw, a robotic claw you can buy from, you know, if you're in the US, you can get it from Spark Fun Electronics. Uh, I, I'm, I'm working in the UK right now, so I got my claw from uh, Cool Components. Now the claw is not really very well built. It's using a, a smaller size servo, as you can see here, but the servo doesn't um, connect to the claw very well at all. I had to like jury rig a lot of stuff just that, so it can fit. You need to shave off a lot of plastic off the servo so that it will actually fit inside this, uh, you know, this opening here. And uh, the screws, you know, connecting the servo to the claw themselves uh, aren't exactly straight because the tolerances are so far out and uh, there's a lot of slop in the arm. So if I'm not sure what to say about it, it's, 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 it's good enough for a fun project, but for anything more serious, like, you know, you need uh, a, a tighter tolerance, I definitely wouldn't recommend this guy. Um, there are two other servos used for the yaw and tilt. These are standard Futaba S3001 servos you can find in, you know, rear control cars and stuff like that. So I actually bought three of these little buggers. Unfortunately, the claw required a small servo, so I had to buy a small servo to accommodate them. I now have a free, unused Futaba S3001. Yay, whippy! Now, to power um, the robotic claw, well, usually it's, it's alright to power like, you know, one servo through the USB connection. However, I'm having like three of them and like this guy, you know, supporting the weight of this guy as well as, you know, the small servo here. So, instead of, you know, risking my USB port spectacularly exploding, or just shorting out, I bought one of these 6 volt receiver packs. These are what you find in, uh, you know, like nitro control, uh, nitro RC vehicles to control the servos and the receiver and stuff like that. So this guy solely provides power to, you know, servo, servo, servo. Um, the Arduino itself gets power over the USB cable. So yeah, that's how it works. And um, pardon the mess. Okay, so this is um, the Arduino itself, beside the breadboard. I'm not sure what I can tell you about it. I said that it's really small. Now, this is the size of a compact flash card, you know, for DSLRs and uh, you can see how small the, the microcontroller itself is and the board and uh, it's just a breadboard for controlling. So the microcontroller itself, right, basically just, you know, receives serial data um, from the computer and basically gives the signal to control these three connectors which go to the servos. And um, that's it really. 
I you can see that there's you know there's an LED. I'm not sure you can see the LEDs flashing. Yep. So uh, the LEDs aren't for you know practical purposes. They are more for debugging. Uh, actually implemented like a state machine in order to get the characters from the serial buffer and stuff like that. So this is what the the, the LEDs are there for my own debugging purposes really. Um, a bit not much more to say. This reel here um, is taking five volts from the, the you know the power outs from the Arduino board itself. This reel is just basically to power the LEDs and all. The the battery which is unconnected right now, which powers the servos, um, is connected to this power rail, and this power rail is solely connected um, here for the servos. And so that's about it. I'll be posting up the source code for this as well as some simple schematics um, on my on, on Oddfoss so you know if you're interested in finding out you know, Houdini site just jump on there check it out see you guys there.